Acid Dissociation Constant, Wikipedia Article Audio An acid dissociation constant, Ka, is a quantitative measure of the strength of an acid in solution. It is the equilibrium constant for a chemical reaction known as dissociation in the context of acid-base reactions. In aqueous solution, the equilibrium of acid dissociation can be written symbolically as Theoretical Background Where HA is a generic acid that dissociates into A, known as the conjugate base of the acid and a hydrogen ion which combines with a water molecule to make a hydronium ion. In the example shown in the figure, HA represents acetic acid, and A represents the acetate ion, the conjugate base. The chemical species HA, A and H3O and are said to be in equilibrium when their concentrations do not change with the passing of time. The dissociation constant is usually written as a quotient of the equilibrium concentrations, denoted by and definitions. In all but the most concentrated aqueous solutions of an acid the concentration of water can be taken as constant and can be ignored. The definition can then be written more simply. Equilibrium constant This is the definition in common usage. For many practical purposes it is more convenient to discuss the logarithmic constant, pKa. Monoprotic acids The more positive the value of pKa, the smaller the extent of dissociation at any given pH that is, the weaker the acid. A weak acid has a pKa value in the approximate range 2 to 12 in water. Acids with a pKa value of less than about 2 are said to be strong acids. The dissociation of a strong acid is effectively complete such that concentration of the undissociated acid is too small to be measured. pKa values for strong acids can, however, be estimated by theoretical means. Polyprotic acids The definition can be extended to non-aqueous solvents, such as acetonitrile and dimethyl sulfoxide. Denoting a solvent molecule by S. Isoelectric point When the concentration of solvent molecules can be taken to be constant, K, A, equals, A, H, plus, H, A, equals backslash mathrm, as before. The acid dissociation constant for an acid is a direct consequence of the underlying thermodynamics of the dissociation reaction, the pKa value is directly proportional to the standard Gibbs free energy change for the reaction. The value of the pKa changes with temperature and can be understood qualitatively based on L.E. Chatelier's principle, when the reaction is endothermic. Ka increases and pKa decreases with increasing temperature, the opposite is true for exothermic reactions. Water self-ionization Protonation constants Amphoteric substances Bases and basicity The value of pKa also depends on molecular structure of the acid in many ways. For example, Pauling proposed two rules, one for successive pKa of polyprotic acids, and one to estimate the pKa of oxyacids based on the number of equals O and O groups. Other structural factors that influence the magnitude of the acid dissociation constant include inductive effects, mesomeric effects, and hydrogen bonding. Hammett type equations have frequently been applied to the estimation of pKa. The quantitative behavior of acids and bases in solution can be understood only if their pKa values are known. In particular, the pH of a solution can be predicted when the analytical concentration and pKa values of all acids and bases are known. Conversely, 
it is possible to calculate the equilibrium concentration of the acids and bases in solution when the pH is known. These calculations find application in many different areas of chemistry, biology, medicine, and geology. For example, many compounds used for medication are weak acids or bases, and a knowledge of the pKa values, together with the water octanol partition coefficient, can be used for estimating the extent to which the compound enters the bloodstream. Acid dissociation constants are also essential in aquatic chemistry and chemical oceanography, where the acidity of water plays a fundamental role. In living organisms, acid-base homeostasis and enzyme kinetics are dependent on the pKa values of the many acids and bases present in the cell and in the body. In chemistry, a knowledge of pKa values is necessary for the preparation of buffer solutions and is also a prerequisite for a quantitative understanding of the interaction between acids or bases and metal ions to form complexes. Experimentally, pKa values can be determined by potentiometric titration, but for values of pKa less than about 2 or more than about 11, Spectrophotometric or NMR measurements may be required due to practical difficulties with pH measurements. According to Arrhenius's original definition, an acid is a substance that dissociates an aqueous solution, releasing the hydrogen ion H+. The equilibrium constant for this dissociation reaction is known as a dissociation constant. The liberated proton combines with a water molecule to give a hydronium ion H3O+, and so Arrhenius later proposed that the dissociation should be written as an acid-base reaction. Princeton and Lowry generalized this further to a proton exchange reaction. The acid loses a proton, leaving a conjugate base, the proton is transferred to the base creating a conjugate acid. For aqueous solutions of an acid HA, the base is water, the conjugate base is A and the conjugate acid is the hydronium ion. The bernsted lowry definition applies to other solvents, such as dimethyl sulfoxide, the solvent S acts as a base, accepting a proton and forming the conjugate acid SH+. In solution chemistry, it is common to use H and as an abbreviation for the solvated hydrogen ion, regardless of the solvent. In aqueous solution H and denotes a solvated hydronium ion rather than a proton. The designation of an acid or base as conjugate depends on the context. The conjugate acid BH and of a base B dissociates according to which is the reverse of the equilibrium. The hydroxide ion O, a well-known base, is here acting as the conjugate base of the acid water. Acids and bases are thus regarded simply as donors and acceptors of protons respectively. A broader definition of acid dissociation includes hydrolysis, in which protons are produced by the splitting of water molecules. For example, boric acid 3 produces H3O and as if it were a proton donor, but it has been confirmed by Raman spectroscopy that this is due to the hydrolysis equilibrium. Similarly, metal ion hydrolysis causes ions such as 6-3-plus to behave as weak acids. According to Lewis's original definition, an acid is a substance that accepts an electron pair to form a coordinate covalent bond. An acid dissociation constant is a particular example of an equilibrium constant. For the specific equilibrium between a monoprotic acid, HA and its conjugate base A, in water. The thermodynamic equilibrium constant, K, can be defined by where is the activity of the chemical species A, etc., K, is dimensionless since activity is dimensionless. 
Activities of the products of dissociation are placed in the numerator, activities of the reactants are placed in the denominator. See activity coefficient for a derivation of this expression. Since activity is the product of concentration and activity coefficient the definition could also be written as where represents the concentration of HA and gamma is a quotient of activity coefficients. To avoid the complications involved in using activities, dissociation constants are determined, where possible, in a medium of high ionic strength, that is, under conditions in which gamma can be assumed to be always constant. For example, the medium might be a solution of 0.1 molar sodium nitrate or 3m potassium per chlorate. Furthermore, in all but the most concentrated solutions it can be assumed that the concentration of water, is constant, approximately 55 m. On dividing, K, by the constant terms and writing for the concentration of the hydronium ion the expression, is obtained. This is the definition in common use. pKa is defined as log 10. Note, however, that all published dissociation constant values refer to the specific ionic medium used in their determination and that different values are obtained with different conditions, as shown for acetic acid in the illustration above. When published constants refer to an ionic strength other than the one required for a particular application, they may be adjusted by means of specific ion theory and other theories. Using the equation as shown Ka has dimensions of concentration, but the exact definition uses chemical activities, which can be dimensionless. Therefore, Ka, as defined properly, is also dimensionless. But as defined here it is correct to quote a value with a dimension as, for example, Ka equals 300 m. After rearranging the expression defining Ka, and putting pH equals log 10, one obtains Temperature dependence This is a form of the henderson hasselbalch equation, from which the following conclusions can be drawn. In water, measurable pKa values range from about 2 for a strong acid to about 12 for a very weak acid. All acids with a pKa value of less than 2 are more than 99% dissociated at pH 0. This is known as solvent leveling since all such acids are brought to the same level of being strong acids, regardless of their pKa values. Likewise, all bases with a pKa value larger than the upper limit are more than 99% protonate at all attainable pH values and are classified as strong bases. An example of a strong acid is hydrochloric acid, HCl, which has a pKa value, estimated from thermodynamic quantities of 9.3 in water. The concentration of undissociated acid in a 1m solution will be less than 0.01% of the concentrations of the products of dissociation. Hydrochloric acid is said to be fully dissociated in aqueous solution because the amount of undissociated acid is imperceptible. When the pKa and analytical concentration of the acid are known, the extent of dissociation and pH of a solution of a monoprotic acid can be easily calculated using an ice table. A buffer solution of a desired pH can be prepared as a mixture of a weak acid and its conjugate base. In practice the mixture can be created by dissolving the acid in water, and adding the requisite amount of strong acid or base. The pKa of the acid must be less than 2 units different from the target pH. Polyprotic acids are acids that can lose more than one proton. 
The constant for dissociation of the first proton may be denoted as Ka1 and the constants for dissociation of successive protons as Ka2, etc. Phosphoric acid, H3PO4, is an example of a polyprotic acid as it can lose three protons. When the difference between successive pK values is about four or more, as in this example, each species may be considered as an acid in its own right, in fact salts of H, 2 PO, 4 may be crystallized from solution by adjustment of pH to about 5.5 and salts of HPO2, 4 may be crystallized from solution by adjustment of pH to about 10. The species distribution diagram shows that the concentrations of the two ions are maximum at pH 5.5 and 10. When the difference between successive pK values is less than about 4 there is overlap between the pH range of existence of the species in equilibrium. The smaller the difference, the more the overlap. The case of citric acid is shown at the right. Solutions of citric acid are buffered over the whole range of pH 2.5 to 7.5. Acidity in non-aqueous solutions According to Pauling's first rule, successive pK values of a given acid increase. For oxyacids with more than one ionizable hydrogen on the same atom, the pKa values often increase by about 5 units for each proton removed, as in the example of phosphoric acid above. Mixed solvents Factors that affect pKa values Thermodynamics Experimental determination Microconstants In the case of a diprotic acid, H2A, the two equilibria are Applications and significance It can be seen that the second proton is removed from a negatively charged species. Since the proton carries a positive charge extra work is needed to remove it, that is the cause of the trend noted above. Phosphoric acid values illustrate this rule, as do the values for vanadic acid. H3VO4. When an exception to the rule is found it indicates that a major change in structure is occurring. In the case of VO2+, the vanadium is octahedral, 6 coordinate, whereas vanadic acid is tetrahedral, 4 coordinate. This is the basis for an explanation of why pKa1 pKa2 for vanadium oxoacids. For substances in solution the isoelectric point is defined as the pH at which the sum, weighted by charge value, of concentrations of positively charged species is equal to the weighted sum of concentrations of negatively charged species. In the case that there is one species of each type, the isoelectric point can be obtained directly from the pK values. Take the example of glycine defined as a. There are two dissociation equilibria to consider. Values for common substances. Substitute the expression for into the first equation. At the isoelectric point the concentration of the positively charged species, a2+, is equal to the concentration of the negatively charged species, a, so. Therefore, taking cologarithms, the pH is given by pI values for amino acids are listed at protonogenic amino acid number chemical properties. When more than two charged species are in equilibrium with each other a full speciation calculation may be needed. Notes Water possesses both acidic and basic properties and is said to be amphiprotic. The ionization equilibrium can be written where in aqueous solution H and or H and denotes a solvated proton. Often this is written as the hydronium ion H3O plus, 
but this formula is not exact because in fact there is solvation by more than one water molecule and species such as H5O2+, H7O3+, and H9O4+, are also present. The equilibrium constant is given by when, as is usually the case, the concentration of water can be assumed to be constant, this expression may be replaced by the self-ionization constant of water, Kw, is thus just a special case of an acid dissociation constant. A logarithmic form analogous to pKa may also be defined. These data can be fitted to a parabola with from this equation, pKw equals 14 at 24.87 degrees Celsius. At that temperature both hydrogen and hydroxide ions have a concentration of 107 m. The dissociation of a monoprotic acid can also be described as the protonation of the conjugate base of the acid. This leads to the definition of an association constant, denoted here as K association, as The dissociation constant definition can be written as the definitions show that the values of the two constants are reciprocals of each other and the situation is a little more complicated with polybasic acids. For example, with phosphoric acid. An amphoteric substance is one that can act as an acid or as a base, depending on pH. Water is amphoteric. Another example of an amphoteric molecule is the bicarbonate ion HCO, 3 that is the conjugate base of the carbonic acid molecule H2CO3 in the equilibrium. But also the conjugate acid of the carbonate ion CO2, 3 in the equilibrium. Carbonic acid equilibria are important for acid-base homeostasis in the human body. An amino acid is also amphoteric with the added complication that the neutral molecule is subject to an internal acid-base equilibrium in which the basic amino group attracts and binds the proton from the acidic carboxyl group, forming a tsvitarion. At pH less than about 5 both the carboxylate group and the amino group are protonated. As pH increases the acid dissociates according to at high pH a second dissociation may take place. Thus the tsvitarion, NH+, 3 crico 2, is amphoteric because it may either be protonated or deprotonated. The equilibrium constant Kb for a base is usually defined as the association constant for protonation of the base, B, to form the conjugate acid, HB+. Using similar reasoning to that used before. Kb is related to Ka for the conjugate acid. In water, the concentration of the hydroxide ion, is related to the concentration of the hydrogen ion by Kw equals, therefore. Substitution of the expression for into the expression for Kb gives. When Ka. Kb and Kw are determined under the same conditions of temperature and ionic strength, it follows, taking cologarithms, that pKb equals pKw pKa. In aqueous solutions at 25 degrees Celsius, pKw is 13.9965, so. With sufficient accuracy for most practical purposes. In effect there is no need to define pKb separately from pKa, but it is done here as often only pKb values can be found in the older literature. For metal hydroxides Kb can also be defined as the dissociation constant for loss of a hydroxide ion, Bb++ O or B2B++ O. This is the reciprocal of a stability constant for formation of the complex. 
All equilibrium constants vary with temperature according to the Van Tijoff equation. R is the gas constant and T is the absolute temperature. Thus, for exothermic reactions, K decreases with temperature, but for endothermic reactions, delta H is positive K increases with temperature. The standard enthalpy change for a reaction is itself a function of temperature, according to Kirchhoff's law of thermochemistry. Where delta Cp is the heat capacity change at constant pressure. In practice, delta H may be taken to be constant over a small temperature range. A solvent will be more likely to promote ionization of a dissolved acidic molecule in the following circumstances. pKa values of organic compounds are often obtained using the aprotic solvents dimethyl sulfoxide and acetonitrile. DMSO is widely used as an alternative to water because it has a lower dielectric constant than water, and is less polar and so dissolves nonpolar hydrophobic substances more easily. It has a measurable pKa range of about 1 to 30. Acetonitrile is less basic than DMSO, and, so, in general, acids are weaker and bases are stronger in this solvent. Some pKa values at 25 degrees Celsius for acetonitrile and dimethyl sulfoxide are shown in the following tables. Values for water are included for comparison. Ionization of acids is less in an acidic solvent than in water. For example, hydrogen chloride is a weak acid when dissolved in acetic acid. This is because acetic acid is a much weaker base than water. Compare this reaction with what happens when acetic acid is dissolved in the more acidic solvent pure sulfuric acid. The unlikely geminal diol species CH, 3C+, 2 is stable in these environments. For aqueous solutions the pH scale is the most convenient acidity function. Other acidity functions have been proposed for non-aqueous media, the most notable being the Hammett acidity function, H0, for superacid media and its modified version H for superbasic media. In aprotic solvents, oligomers, such as the well-known acetic acid dimer, may be formed by hydrogen bonding. An acid may also form hydrogen bonds to its conjugate base. This process, known as homoconjugation, has the effect of enhancing the acidity of acids, lowering their effective pKa values, by stabilizing the conjugate base. Homoconjugation enhances the proton donating power of toluene sulfonic acid in acetonitrile solution by a factor of nearly 800. In aqueous solutions, homoconjugation does not occur, because water forms stronger hydrogen bonds to the conjugate base than does the acid. When a compound has limited solubility in water it is common practice to determine pKa values in a solvent mixture such as water-slash-dioxane or water-slash-methanol, in which the compound is more soluble. In the example shown at the right, the pKa value rises steeply with increasing percentage of dioxane as the dielectric constant of the mixture is decreasing. A pKa value obtained in a mixed solvent cannot be used directly for aqueous solutions. The reason for this is that when the solvent is in its standard state its activity is defined as 1. For example, the standard state of water dioxane 9,1 is precisely that solvent mixture, with no added solutes. To obtain the pKa value for use with aqueous solutions it has to be extrapolated to zero CO solvent concentration from values obtained from various CO solvent mixtures. These facts are obscured by the omission of the solvent from the expression that is normally used to define pKa, 
but pKa values obtained in a given mixed solvent can be compared to each other, giving relative acid strengths. The same is true of pKa values obtained in a particular non-aqueous solvent such as DMSO. As of 2008, a universal, solvent-independent, scale for acid dissociation constants has not been developed, since there is no known way to compare the standard states of two different solvents. Pauling's second rule is that the value of the first pKa for acids of the formula XOMN depends primarily on the number of oxo groups M, and is approximately independent of the number of hydroxy groups N, and also of the central atom X approximate values of pKa are 8 for M equals 0, 2 for M equals 1, 3 for M equals 2 and Me 2 NH Me NH 2 NH 3 is changed by water to me 2 nh me nh 2 me 3 n nh 3 neutral methylamine molecules are hydrogen bonded to water molecules mainly through one acceptor nhoh interaction and only occasionally just one more donor bond nho2 hence methylamines are stabilized to about the same extent by hydration regardless of the number of methyl groups in stark contrast, corresponding methyl ammonium cations always utilize all the available protons for donor NHO2 bonding. Relative stabilization of methyl ammonium ions thus decreases with the number of methyl groups explaining the order of water basicity of methylamines. An equilibrium constant is related to the standard Gibbs energy change for the reaction, so for an acid dissociation constant. R is the gas constant and T is the absolute temperature. Note that pKa equals log and 2.303 ln. At 25 degrees Celsius, delta G in Kj mole 15.708 pKa. Free energy is made up of an enthalpy term and an entropy term. The standard enthalpy change can be determined by calorimetry or by using the Van T. Hoff equation, though the calorimetric method is preferable. When both the standard enthalpy change and acid dissociation constant have been determined, the standard entropy change is easily calculated from the equation above. In the following table, the entropy terms are calculated from the experimental values of pKa and delta H. The data were critically selected and refer to 25 degrees Celsius and zero ionic strength in water. The first point to note is that, when pKa is positive, the standard free energy change for the dissociation reaction is also positive. Second, some reactions are exothermic and some are endothermic, but, when delta H is negative T delta S is the dominant factor, which determines that delta G is positive. Last, the entropy contribution is always unfavorable in these reactions. Ions in aqueous solution tend to orient the surrounding water molecules, which orders the solution and decreases the entropy. The contribution of an ion to the entropy is the partial molar entropy which is often negative, especially for small or highly charged ions. The ionization of a neutral acid involves formation of two ions so that the entropy decreases. On the second ionization of the same acid, there are now three ions and the anion has a charge, so the entropy again decreases. Note that the standard free energy change for the reaction is for the changes from the reactants in their standard states to the products in their standard states. The free energy change at equilibrium is zero since the chemical potentials of reactants and products are equal at equilibrium. The experimental determination of pKa values is commonly performed by means of titrations, in a medium of high ionic strength and at constant temperature. A typical procedure would be as follows. 
A solution of the compound in the medium is acidified with a strong acid to the point where the compound is fully protonated. The solution is then titrated with a strong base until all the protons have been removed. At each point in the titration pH is measured using a glass electrode and a pH meter. The equilibrium constants are found by fitting calculated pH values to the observed values, using the method of least squares. The total volume of added strong base should be small compared to the initial volume of titrin solution in order to keep the ionic strength nearly constant. This will ensure that pKa remains invariant during the titration. A calculated titration curve for oxalic acid is shown at the right. Oxalic acid has pKa values of 1.27 and 4.27. Therefore, the buffer regions will be centered at about pH 1.3 and pH 4.3. The buffer regions carry the information necessary to get the pKa values as the concentrations of acid and conjugate base change along a buffer region. Between the two buffer regions there is an end point, or equivalence point, at about pH 3. This end point is not sharp and is typical of a diprotic acid whose buffer regions overlap by a small amount pKa2 pKa1 is about 3 in this example. The second endpoint begins at about pH 6.3 and is sharp. This indicates that all the protons have been removed. When this is so, the solution is not buffered and the pH rises steeply on addition of a small amount of strong base. However, the pH does not continue to rise indefinitely. A new buffer region begins at about pH 11, which is where self-ionization of water becomes important. It is very difficult to measure pH values of less than 2 in aqueous solution with a glass electrode, because the Nernst equation breaks down at such low pH values. To determine pK values of less than about 2 or more than about 11 spectrophotometric or NMR measurements may be used instead of, or combined with, pH measurements. When the glass electrode cannot be employed, as with non-aqueous solutions, spectrophotometric methods are frequently used. These may involve absorbance or fluorescence measurements. In both cases the measured quantity is assumed to be proportional to the sum of contributions from each photoactive species, with absorbance measurements the Beer-Lambert law is assumed to apply. Aqueous solutions with normal water cannot be used for 1H NMR measurements but heavy water, D2O, must be used instead. 13C NMR data, however can be used with normal water and 1H NMR spectra can be used with non-aqueous media. The quantities measured with NMR are time-averaged chemical shifts, as proton exchange is fast on the NMR time scale. Other chemical shifts, such as those of 31P can be measured. A base such as spermine has a few different sites where protonation can occur. In this example the first proton can go on the terminal NH2 group, or either of the internal NH groups. The pKa values for dissociation of spermine protonate at one or other of the sites are examples of microconstants. They cannot be determined directly by means of pH, absorbance, fluorescence, or NMR measurements. Nevertheless, the site of protonation is very important for biological function, so mathematical methods have been developed for the determination of microconstants. A knowledge of pKa values is important for the quantitative treatment of systems involving acid-base equilibria in solution. Many applications exist in biochemistry, for example, the pKa values of proteins and amino acid side chains are of major importance for the activity of enzymes and the stability of proteins. 
Protein pKa values cannot always be measured directly, but may be calculated using theoretical methods. Buffer solutions are used extensively to provide solutions at or near the physiological pH for the study of biochemical reactions, the design of these solutions depends on a knowledge of the pKa values of their components. Important buffer solutions include MOPS, which provides a solution with pH 7.2, and Tricene, which is used in gel electrophoresis. Buffering is an essential part of acid-base physiology including acid-base homeostasis, and is key to understanding disorders such as acid-base imbalance. The isoelectric point of a given molecule is a function of its pK values, so different molecules have different isoelectric points. This permits a technique called isoelectric focusing which is used for separation of proteins by 2D gel polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Buffer solutions also play a key role in analytical chemistry. They are used whenever there is a need to fix the pH of a solution at a particular value. Compared with an aqueous solution, the pH of a buffer solution is relatively insensitive to the addition of a small amount of strong acid or strong base. The buffer capacity of a simple buffer solution is largest when pH equals pKa. In acid-base extraction, the efficiency of extraction of a compound into an organic phase, such as an ether, can be optimized by adjusting the pH of the aqueous phase using an appropriate buffer. At the optimum pH, the concentration of the electrically neutral species is maximized, such a species is more soluble in organic solvents having a low dielectric constant than it is in water. This technique is used for the purification of weak acids and bases. A pH indicator is a weak acid or weak base that changes color in the transition pH range, which is approximately pKa plus or minus 1. The design of a universal indicator requires a mixture of indicators whose adjacent pKa values differ by about 2, so that their transition pH ranges just overlap. In pharmacology, Ionization of a compound alters its physical behavior and macro properties such as solubility and lipophilicity, log P. For example, ionization of any compound will increase the solubility in water, but decrease the lipophilicity. This is exploited in drug development to increase the concentration of a compound in the blood by adjusting the pKa of an ionizable group. Knowledge of pKa values is important for the understanding of coordination complexes, which are formed by the interaction of a metal ion, Mm+, acting as a Lewis acid, with a ligand, L, acting as a Lewis base. However, the ligand may also undergo protonation reactions, so the formation of a complex in aqueous solution could be represented symbolically by the reaction. To determine the equilibrium constant for this reaction, in which the ligand loses a proton, the pKa of the protonate ligand must be known. In practice, the ligand may be polyprotic, for example EDDA4 can accept 4 protons, in that case, all pKa values must be known. In addition, the metal ion is subject to hydrolysis, that is, it behaves as a weak acid, so the pK values for the hydrolysis reactions must also be known. Assessing the hazard associated with an acid or base may require a knowledge of pKa values. For example, Hydrogen cyanide is a very toxic gas, because the cyanide ion inhibits the iron-containing enzyme cytochrome C oxidase. Hydrogen cyanide is a weak acid in aqueous solution with a pKa of about 9. In strongly alkaline solutions, above pH 11, say, 
it follows that sodium cyanide is fully dissociated so the hazard due to the hydrogen cyanide gas is much reduced. An acidic solution, on the other hand, is very hazardous because all the cyanide is in its acid form. Ingestion of cyanide by mouth is potentially fatal, independently of pH, because of the reaction with cytochrome C oxidase. In environmental science acid-base equilibria are important for lakes and rivers, for example, humic acids are important components of natural waters. Another example occurs in chemical oceanography, in order to quantify the solubility of iron in seawater at various salinities, the pKa values for the formation of the iron hydrolysis products Fe2+, Fe+, 2 and Fe3 were determined, along with the solubility product of iron hydroxide. There are multiple techniques to determine the pKa of a chemical, leading to some discrepancies between different sources. Well-measured values are typically within 0.1 units of each other. Data presented here were taken at 25 degrees Celsius in water. More values can be found in thermodynamics, above.